My name is uh, Miguel Segura. I am the Director of Public Affairs here with the Houston Galveston Area Council and I'm responsible for overseeing all of the uh, internal, external communications efforts, managing websites, social media accounts. Our leaders uh, really decided that they wanted to embrace AI early on in the conversations where AI was starting to become very popular. Public entities were very hesitant. I uh, did not want to touch artificial intelligence with a 10-foot pole. I think a great feature that a tool like Area brings to an organization like ours is the ability to explore with different uh, AI platforms, uh, whether that be ChatGPT, Llama Cloud, or Pick Your Poison, the fact that we are able to implement some of those guardrails that we're able to properly protect our information, it gives me a little more ease knowing that our staff, more than anything, that's exploring uh, and taking a risk on a new technology that they haven't used before feels safe. I'm Khalid Kaloni. I'm the Senior Manager for Business Intelligence and AI at HGAC. Finding area has been awesome because it helped us uh, put a framework in place, put some guidelines, make sure we are not sharing information out, gave us the ability to put platform together bring other models and use them within a guided control environment. Very well. I am Beard Dang. Before we trying to uh, control or manage the use of AI is difficult because first of all, we don't know what people use. So with area, we can sort of monitor who's using what, steer them in the right direction, creating the right agent for them and, and working with them to create better prompts. That's where area can help. I think there's been a lot of excitement about the efficiencies that we are able to implement by leveraging artificial intelligence and the different models we're using. I think that's making our team's lives uh, a lot easier. It's helping them think differently, think outside the box a little bit more. So it's a great opportunity to take a step back, take those extra minutes, extra hours during a given day or week to be able to say, okay, what else can we be doing? And something that I've appreciated uh, and uh, just out of sheer curiosity, learning on area is typing in the same prompt on the different models to see the different responses. And I think as the models are learning, I'm also learning in terms of uh, which models I want to use for which queries uh, and for which features. And I think that's something that as we continue to share with the rest of our staff, it will also be encouraged uh, and, and curious enough to do the same. So it's, it's always, again, something to, to consider and keep thinking outside the box.